The Panthers will improve more today and tomorrow than they have the first nine practices of training camp. They had nine practices, then the 10th and 11th are joint practices with the Jets. They will improve more today and tomorrow than they have their first nine in total. They'll learn more about their their team today, specifically their offense, today and tomorrow than they will in all three preseason games combined. Joint practices are the best thing for a young offense, full stop. Right, That's the end of the sentence, no qualifiers. They are the best thing for a young offense. You don't know what the defense is going to do. You're playing another defense, right? It's not your own. I'll, I'll put it like this. Uh, in college, you don't get to do joint practices. In college, you don't get to do preseason games. Uh, so Not by, D1, at least. Oh, tr- true. I did, I, there might be at the, the lower levels. There are. Division three. we did. When I, when I played for football, we, well, yeah, we, got, we got a chance to, to scrimmage another team. I am jealous of that ability. It was great. Because by the end of training camp... I knew all of the calls for the defense. Yeah. Right? You, you Like, you'd hear the safety, you know, check solo, check solo, or whatever it is, whatever their checks are, and you'd just go, all right, I know what it is. And, you, you I mean, you could say, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this one out honestly, but, it, I mean, once you see the answers to the test, you can't forget them. No. And, and those little things happen. And more specifically even, it's nice to just have, like, when I say nice, it's a nice test to just know that, you aren't wildly familiar with the athleticism on the other side of the the field, right? Like Bryce Young, by this point in training camp, he's really familiar with how fast and how athletic Shaq Thompson is, right? He's seen it on film a bunch of times. Every time they go ones on ones, he's he's out there. They've they've probably done seven on sevens and one on ones and eleven on elevens and and all of these things. So he knows, like, all right, when he's this far away, like just inherently, his his instincts know what Shaq Thompson can get to and can't get to put a jet out there and now it's it's more of a all right how can i transition a scouting report to execution um what are the universal yeses versus the scouting report yeses what i mean by that is universal yes is a throw that you're going to make because the guy's open and it's open no matter who is anyone on the field a scouting report, yes, is that guy's open because my scouting report tells me the safety who's five steps away is slow. So he can't cover those five steps. If that safety were... Uh, Minka Fitzpatrick. Minka Fitzpatrick, he's not open. That's a <laughs> scouting report open, right? Yeah. Or, I mean, to use the Jets, Sauce Gardner, right? There have been throws that, I mean, Bryce Young has made this p- preseason... That with Sauce Gardner out there, that guy's not open. You just have to know that, right? And that's no disrespect to J.C. Horn, no disrespect to Dante Jackson or whoever else was playing corner for for the Panthers. Sauce Gardner was, you know, one of the the highest graded corners in the league last year. He was a fourth overall pick. So just being out there and not having the the intimate knowledge of everything going on is a better test. And then the other side is the reason why it's better than the preseason games, because you could say everything I just said is about the preseason too, is your coach has a whistle and no play clock, right? If, if, if something has gone absolutely haywire, blow the whistle. Mm-hmm. As, I mean, the coaches, the head coaches on either side probably have some kind of like etiquette, right? Like, hey, don't blow the play dead every single time. We're trying to get work too. But if there's something catastrophic, yeah, we'll run it again. If you need 25, 30 seconds to talk to your, your quarterback, take it, right? Don't take five minutes but it's 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 something that's more like a practice sometimes from my experience both as a player and as a coach when having these joint practices when i was with mm-hmm. the cross we would sometimes have built in like all right we're going to go x amount of time with this and then all right we're going to break for yep. three minutes or two minutes so we can all discuss stuff then pick back up with whatever drill that is we were doing and 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 those types of moments are invaluable for someone like bryce young oh yeah and even a preseason game, I know preseason games are informal. Like, you can't just go, can we agree to take three minutes here? <laughs> we want to go down here and, and run that play on air a few times just to make sure we got it. Hey, can we walk through it? Yeah. What did then you do there? What it? did you do? Did you come? Hey, 36, did you did you blitz? <laughs> you can't do that in a, in a preseason game as much as, is, you know, I'm sure sometimes coaches want to. Bryce Young on the benefits of facing another defense. 
I think it's just great for, for myself, for us as a unit, us as a team to go against, you know, go against different faces, you know, when you're playing against a similar system and, you know, there's only so much you can build off of and so much that, you know, it's a lot of chess because you're going against the same guys, you know, the ins and outs of everyone. Um, but being able to go against a different group, I think it's just, I think it's just, you know, great for us to, for me to be challenged, for us as a, as a unit, as a team to be challenged. And, you know, I think that it's just a different, you know, a different type of competition. Um, again, you know, you us competing against each other, you know, we, we're competing at the same time. We know we're on the same team and we have each other's backs and we're going to the locker room together. And, you know, now we get to be able to, you know, really be that one unit um, against another team, uh, which is which is great. You know, it kind of helps bring us together. And, um, you know, I, I think just being able to have that competition is something that's really uh, pushed me and allowed me to grow. It is a different kind of competition. Specifically, the Jets are not joking around. They are brash right now. Right, the Jets, they're everybody's kind of darling. I saw a uh, one article talk about all the different bets that are on the, the Jets to to win the Super Bowl. So they're they're feeling it, right? They're also gonna bring a fastball look that you don't normally get because of that, right? They they don't want to lose a rep. I mean, how often, how often, actually never really, uh, do you but how often do you get a chance to have Sauce Gardner on your scout team? Quinn and Williams on your scout team. Even the Jets don't get to have Sauce Gardner on their scout team. No. Because he's, he's ones versus ones only when you're seeing the, the, the number one defense. Mm-hmm. Like, like that is a look that you don't get ever unless it's in a game situation. Team and, 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 and final point here, this is why it's so good for Bryce, and this is why it's such a good true test for Bryce. You can't help but almost subconsciously try to set up your number one overall pick golden child right uh the the pet put him on a pedestal uh quarterback for the, success the golden calf the golden calf the, the the goose that lays the golden eggs you almost can't help but subconsciously put him in positions to to win in practice and, and what i mean by that is like if the offensive and defensive coordinator know kind of what the other one's planning to do on an individual play right and they do that so you know, they, they know if a blitz is coming or they know what to look for. They, they know what, what player's technique to watch. So if an offensive coordinator knows, I don't know, they're they're dropping everybody deep, I don't think it's going to be intentional. But subconsciously, you may look at Bryce and go, hey, if it's not there, take the check down. Right? Which is something you would say, like, on the field in a game if you're you're just trying to make sure he's sharp. Like, hey, don't force it downfield. Take the check if, if it's there, if you need to. But when you say that before a play that they drop everybody deep, of course he's going to be a little bit wired, right? He's going to just know what's going on. He's going to be cool with taking the check down. Then he does it, and you go, sweet, this guy's a genius. Well, guess what? When you're playing against the Jets, you you can't even have that subconscious thought, right? If you say, hey, hey, take the check down if everybody drops off, you don't know if everybody's going to – they might bring the house on that one, and it might be the the perfect play to take a deep shot. So Bryce Young, really for the first time this this preseason, is going to get a true test. Is going to get like the the right the control in the experiment, where all other variables remain the same. Now you just get to go play football against someone else. This this practice, which happened earlier today and tomorrow's, wildly important. 